What's up guys? Just wanted to make a quick video in between my videos. I have a lot of really cool videos coming up in the coming weeks. Let's see how many times I can say videos in one video. But for now I just wanted to show you kind of a behind the scenes of thought process of these few videos you've seen recently. One of the really cool comments I've been seeing from friends and family is, is about how I'm showing New York and how beautiful I'm making the city look. And that's really awesome. That was actually a goal when I started these videos. I've said it before, but since I came back to New York, I've been truly enjoyed being back in the city and realized how it's my favorite city. And, and with that, I wanted to show the city as beautifully as I can. It also goes hand in hand with something else I've been deploying recently, and that's perspective. And I'm gonna show you three clips from my last video where if I just changed the editing just slightly, I could have changed the entire tone of the video. And here they are. I really love this opening scene. It's just this beautiful day in the flat iron. The yellow on the calves is popping. Now this scene right here, I just stopped it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You'll see this person on the bike ride by. There's two cabs, beautiful yellow cabs. And even better, here's a third passing by. Then I go to myself, which is the on camera. Now here I go to Premiere Pro. Here's the entire clip on my timeline. This is the unedited clip. The only thing I have on here is the color correction on top to give the effect of, the, of what it would look like if I put it in the video. So I'm going to go to this screen to make it bigger. Now I push play. There goes the cab. Very nice, very nice. Good. Oh my god. Look at that thing. That is the clunkiest car in New York City. <laughs> look at this thing. It's got a black hood, a gray body, scratches. Listen to the sound it makes completely ruined my shot. <laughs> that thing is terrible. So, as you can see, I, I cut that out. Again, I could have easily focused on that, but I chose not to. Here's the next clip. This is toward my end kind of montage that I shot. Here's the F train passing by. We go to this beautiful day. Look at the clouds popping in the sky. Very nice, I just show a couple seconds. And then I move on to, I'm inside my friend Danny's apartment. Now here I go back to Premiere. Here's that clip in the timeline. Again, this is the entire clip. The only thing that's above it is an adjustment layer with some color correction. Now, let's play the whole clip. Very nice, nice blue sky, a little shaky. But there's, uh, oh, oh, oh. That, my friends, is the BQE. That is not looking good at all. So I did not want to show that. All right, final clip. So in this last segment of the video that was really special to me. I kind of went on this long talk about my life and it, it was a really special moment in the video. If, if anyone of you saw it, it, it really came from the heart and I, I really enjoyed making that. And I found this beautiful park in, in the Upper East Side, is in the 84th Street range, all the way on the East River. There I am talking, got a nice background, beautiful day. Back to premiere again. Now for this last clip I took I actually was thinking about this video I'm making right now as I was shooting this video. A video in a video in a video. So I actually recorded myself doing this. This is in real time. I just sped up a little bit here in the middle just to, just for time purposes. I finish talking, I get up, I spin the camera around, and there's a homeless guy who was basically right in front of me as I was doing that video. It's sad because it's much wealth there is in that area, there's still poverty. Which is a sad truth of America. So, again, we can go into a lot of conversations here. We can talk about clever editing techniques, how I'm maybe deceiving a little bit, fake news, maybe, alternative facts. But really, really is its perspective. I'm choosing to show the best parts of New York because that's what, how I view the city. It would be so easy for me to sit on and talk on this camera how the subway sucks, about how all these issues are going on in New York, how everything's expensive. And let's be real, in all these videos I'm going to make, there's going to be some times where there's some negativity. I kind of did it in my last video a little bit. Life's not perfect. New York is far from perfect. But I'm just showing you the best parts that I, I really feel represents a city that means so much to me and has done so much for me in terms of the, like, the things I've accomplished in my life so far, the friends that I've met, the experiences that I had, and that's what I'm going to continue to keep doing. So just want to give you a little bit of insight of what I've been working with. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you for every single comment and like, and if you watched a minute, three minutes, some people watched all 17 minutes. That is crazy in the best way crazy because I can't believe it. Thank you for all that. That means the world to me. 
I got some really cool projects coming up. I'm hoping to do a shoot in the next week or two. If I'm able to pull it off, it would be a very, very special video. A lot of cool things coming, and of course music, and all this other fun stuff. I will see you guys soon.